guys, so before we dive into everything, I just want to first acknowledge and apologize for the fact that this video is probably going to be a little bit long and a little bit all over the place. The reason for that is because this giveaway was actually supposed to be done about a year ago and had a whole video behind it, all of this reasoning for it, and while that is still there, I now have a different reason and more information as to why it is happening now today instead of about a year ago. But before we dive into all that, before I explain everything behind the giveaway, reason for it, why I'm doing it, etc., I'm going to talk about the giveaway itself. And actually it's three. So this is a three-part giveaway. There's going to be three winners and so you'll have three chances to enter, but only one person for each giveaway. So the same person cannot win two or three. If it does happen that somebody by some random chance their name gets picked for one or two or three, I will notify them and they will get to pick the one that they want the most. So you are allowed to enter all three, but you cannot win more than one. Also before we get started, if you would like to hear the reasoning behind the giveaway and all the information that I have to share before hearing about the giveaway or if the giveaway is over, giveaways I should say, then you can jump to this timestamp. I'm gonna put it just in the video where I start talking about the reasoning behind the giveaways, just in case they're over, or if you wanna hear about that first before you actually hear like the specifics and the terms and conditions and the items and how to enter and all that jazz. And so what are each of the three giveaways? I have a feminine giveaway, a unisex giveaway, and a swimwear giveaway. So this giveaway is actually a almost complete replica of the last Zafool haul that I did. So if you remember this video where I showed off a bunch of swimsuits, a tapestry, some sweatpants, cardigans, some tops, etc. I had rebought all of those items by myself with my own money to give out to you guys. Like I said, I'll explain why I'm doing all this later outside of the fact that you guys are awesome and you deserve a giveaway because I haven't done one in years, but for now we're going to talk about the three different ones that you can win. And one thing that I want to clarify before I dive into everything is that I already have all of these items and they are already purchased in the size that I had got. So unfortunately this isn't a giveaway where you get to pick what you want, you don't get to pick the size that you want or the style, it's all just these exact items that I've already gotten. So that means that I really want you guys to double check the sizing on stuff before you enter just so that you're not disappointed if you win and all of a sudden you have to be stuck with these items. So the first one is the biggest one, I think it is the swimwear one and you'll receive all of the swimsuits that I got. And so all of these are going to be size medium and there are five swimsuits. You'll get this swimsuit and here is a product photo just so you can see what it looks like also. Or if you would want to see a little bit more detail you can watch the haul that I'll have linked in the description. You'll also get this swimsuit which looks like this. You'll get this swimsuit which looks like this. You'll get this swimsuit, which looks like this. And you'll get this swimsuit, which looks like this. And I'm just going to keep everything in the packages. I have taken them out of the packages before, which I will talk about at the end of the video. But for now, I'm just going to keep them in the packages. They will be shipped to you like this in these plastic bags. That's how they are shipped to me. And unfortunately, with the swimsuits and with every item in this giveaway, they might be heavily creased just because they've been in their packages for over a year. Um, but I haven't tried on any of these items. They haven't been worn by me. They haven't been washed because why would I wash them? But they've been in their bags. They've been either like in a box or in a bag, like safely in a closet away from dust and everything. But I'm not going to take them out and like show them to you because you can just watch the video that I have. Um, or you can stay towards the end of the video for when I did film clips of them out of the bags. So that is the swimwear giveaway. Obviously open to whoever wants to buy them, but just keep in mind the sizing of those and if you actually like the style and all that jazz. Next up we will look at the unisex giveaway. This one has four items in it. First up is the sweatpants. And these actually I did have to order in 2XL instead of 1XL, which is what I ordered for myself because they were sold out on the site. And these ones did end up being a little bit different from the ones that I received. As you can see, 
here. Next up is the tapestry. So if you guys remember my tapestry that I have in a lot of my videos as my background, you can win it. And again, this thing was probably going to have some pretty intense creases in it from being folded up in this bag for forever. But it's the same size, same print, same fabric as the one that I have. And, and yeah. Next up is the fishnet tank top that looks like this. And then the last item in the unisex haul is one of the two body harnesses. And so I did end up rebuying two body harnesses like I accidentally had done in my haul that I did. And so here are the two. This is the only item I'll be taking out of the bag to show you guys because they came in one bag. And these ones are the exact same. If you remember in the haul that I did, the two that I received that were supposed to be the same item were different but these were the exact same. And so because there's two though, one is going to go in the unisex giveaway and one is going to go in the feminine giveaway. And this is also another item that they have been fold they were shipped to me folded up. I will be shipping them folded up. So whoever wins them will have to kind of deal with the fact that their body harness has some creases in it. But the ones that I received in my haul, I just flattened them out, put some heavy books on them, and they seem to be okay. So I am sorry that the harnesses have those creases in them. Hopefully it will be okay, and if not, you got it for free, so, oh well. And you can probably buy it for like $10 on eBay or cheaper if you really want it to be not creased. But it would be shipped to you creased anyway because they ship it creased, so it would just be like a year's less amount of time spent creased. I'm just gonna shut up. We're gonna talk about the feminine giveaway. So like I already said, we have the other body harness, which by the way, looks like this. I forgot to do that the last time. And I have this nice, nice, haha, <laughs> um, plastic bag that I was putting it in. Brand new, nothing else has been in it, but just because you know, it got separated from its own plastic bag, so there you go. Next up in the feminine giveaway, we have this thigh garter, pentagram garter that looks like this. It is one size, but it is adjustable. Next up, we have this crop top thing, which is size extra large, which looks like this. And then the last item in the feminine giveaway to match the four items in feminine, four items in unisex, is this other crop top, which looks like this. And which actually, I have worn a lot. I still have mine. I can go get it. So this is mine. This is my crop top that I still have and I still wear. If you guys remember in the video, I took the padding out, which was a great idea for me. This one will come with padding and you can take it out if you want. But this is actually a top that I have really loved. I've worn a lot. So I just wanted to throw in that fun fact that if you win the feminine giveaway, this fits you, you like it, you wear it, then we will definitely be twins with our wardrobe and we will have the same item, which I think would be kind of fun. And honestly, if you win any of the giveaways, you're gonna like twin with me and my wardrobe, at least somehow. Like I still wear the sweatpants. I still wear the crop top. I gave the other crop top to my sister. I still wear some of the swimsuits, but not all of them. And I still have the thigh harness. And of course I still have the tapestry, so cool. For a full description of the sizing of the items and everything, if I can gather it all together, check the description. I will either have it written out in the description or I'll have like a Facebook note or a Tumblr post. I will have full information for all of the items so that you can make sure that you check the sizing, you read the descriptions, you figure out exactly what it is that you might be entering to win. It's really important to me that if somebody does win the giveaway that they had done the research and they make sure that they won't be disappointed with things that they receive just because they hadn't checked the post that I made. I would give all that information now, but in the essence of trying to keep this video as manageable as possible. I'm just going to type it out so you can read it on your own time and we can get into the rest of the information that I have for you. Also, disclaimer about the items. If anything is of like shitty quality, if it sucks, if it is not to your standards, I'm really sorry and I wish that it could be, but there's nothing I can do about it. So if you end up disappointed with the items, I'm sorry and I wish that I could give you something that you're happy with but this is part of the giveaway. It's part of 
like the random chance, the risk, the fun, <laughs> I guess, of, of this type of giveaway, but I would just like to put a disclaimer there that if you yourself would normally never shop on Zafool because of the quality, maybe don't enter the giveaway because you might not be happy with it. And then you have to deal with all of these items that you don't want. But you can maybe sell. Honestly, if you get it, if you win and you get the stuff and you don't want it, you can sell it. I'm not gonna care. Like, get something nice for yourself. Or like, give it to a friend. I do just want to like, disclaimer that there are some people out there who would not want these items because they come from Zephool and I just want you guys to be cautious of that. Just be aware that there's a chance that these might not be up to your standards. But if you would shop on Zephool or if you would totally own Zephool stuff for free, go for it. So next up, we need to talk about the rules of the giveaway, which will also be written in the description and will be written like on the Rafflecopter page. By the way, I'm using Rafflecopter because that's what I'm used to. So there are only two things that are mandatory, that are required for entering each of the different giveaways. That is to be subscribed to me on YouTube, obviously, because this is a giveaway for my subscribers. The second one is to visit my Facebook page. So you don't even have to like it. That's not a requirement. You just have to look at it. There are five other things that you can do to enter the giveaway. Each thing that you do counts as a entry. So first, follow on Instagram. Second, follow on Twitter. Third, follow on Tumblr. Fourth, fan on you now, which I haven't been doing because I suck and I went through some stuff but I hope to be restarting again soon, so you might as well. The fifth and final thing that you can do to enter that is not mandatory is visit my Patreon page. This isn't something that I've been super vocal about on YouTube, and I'm still kind of holding off on that, but as part of the giveaway, an extra entry that you can do is to just look at my Patreon page. For each of those five things, I will be asking you to submit information to me. For example, if I said to follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna ask for the handle that you follow me with. If I said to visit me on Patreon, I'm gonna ask for information that you can only find on my Patreon. Make sure to do that because if you don't, I have no way of verifying that you actually did what you said that you did and it will disqualify that entry. So make sure that as you're entering, you're entering in the correct information. Also, also, really important, give me your correct email address that you 100% check. That is how I will be notifying the winner. I will be announcing the winner on my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Tumblr. And so if you see that you won, but you can't get the email, message me, tell me what that email is, and then you, we can figure something out. But we would just ease all of our headaches if you just enter in an email that you 100% have access to and can check. This also brings me to the when does this giveaway end? So first of all, it's starting now. It, if this video is up, the giveaway has started. It is ending on May 24th. So hopefully that will be 10 days from the day that this video is published on YouTube. My patrons will have seen this video before you guys, because that's a patron reward, fun fact. So patrons have first dibs on giveaways and videos and things that I'm selling, which I'm gonna mention later. But you on YouTube, if you're seeing this video, the giveaway is up, it is running, so you can do it. It will end May 24th at like midnight, I think, because that's what Rafflecopter said. And I will notify the winners and they will have 24 hours to respond. So that brings me to the terms and conditions of this giveaway. I'm just going to read them because that's easier. It is open worldwide, so anyone can enter. I'll ship anywhere. I don't care. Two, if you're under 18, you must get your parents' permission because I will need to mail you stuff and I'll need your personal information, your address. Next, the winner must respond within 24 hours to confirm. Otherwise, a new winner will be chosen. I don't have a lot of time to deal with this giveaway, which I will explain later, but for now, just know you have 24 hours to respond, otherwise you lose it. The winner will be announced on my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Tumblr, and will be emailed. All items were purchased by me from the web store Zafool.com, but this giveaway is in no way sponsored or affiliated with Zafool or any other company. This is completely not anything to do with Zafool, they have no idea I'm doing this. I will not give out any of your information and there is no purchase necessary. And I am not responsible for any taxes, customs, duties, etc. associated with this prize. So please, before you enter, double check that if you win and you are sent a package of like five swimsuits 
that you're not going to have any customs on that or taxes. I'm not responsible for those. I cannot pay for those. That's up to you. Just double check. Just make sure. And then the last thing is I'm not responsible for lost or late entries or prizes lost in shipment. So if I mail it out to you, the tracking says it's delivered, you never got it, I'm really sorry, it's out of my hands. Once I drop this off at the post office, it is officially in the hands of the mail gods, and if something happens, I cannot replace it, I cannot pay you money, I can't do anything, so please be careful, make sure you give me the right address, be really careful with writing your address, and if there is any tracking info, keep an eye on it, which I will as well. All of those terms and conditions will be repeated in the description in any posts that I make in the giveaways, so don't worry, that information will be out there. And already this video is like, oh my god, there's so much information here, and I see why I've been putting this off for so long. So the first reason behind this giveaway, the reason that I originally was going to do this was because I've done a few hauls from Zafool and I always get a few comments here and there about how their scam site, their ripoff, their shitty, how I suck for working with them, how I shouldn't be promoting them, all of these things, all of these comments. And so I wanted to take it seriously. What also spurred this outside of all of those comments was while I was working with Zafool for that previous haul, there was a really weird situation with communication with them that uh, on the one hand is extremely hilarious but on the other hand kind of pissed me off. And so I was going to make a whole video all about this, talking about it, but I'm just a piece of shit and I never did and I kept putting it off. I was supposed to do it before I left for Europe last year, never did, was going to do it when I got back from Europe, had some life problems, didn't do it. Then I had all of these other things that I wanted to do, then I was moving to Amsterdam, so I wanted to do it before I left, didn't do it, haven't done it still, and now I'm doing it. But I'm still going to talk about the same stuff, so I still want to go over the shit that happened. So, I was doing this haul for the Fool, and it was in between when I sent them the order for the stuff that I was going to do a haul for, and when they sent them to me. So when you do this with a company, you don't pay for the items. Um, and so the order just kind of hangs out until they like see it and ship it. What can happen is that another employee might see it and they'll just see this unpaid order and they'll reach out to you. That's happened to me before and I just have to like explain, be like, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm doing a haul for somebody. And they're like, oh yeah, whoops, sorry, like never mind, continue. But this one was interesting because I had somebody reach out to me. I had somebody reach out to me saying they were from Zafool completely through Rose Wholesale and their communication system. It was really bizarre to see and I had gotten this email that was like, you have correspondence from Rose Wholesale, like to view the ticket, click here. And I clicked on it and the message was, hey, like this is this person from Zafool.com, you have this order, will you pay it please? And as you can see, it was completely on Rose Wholesale, but the body of the message said it was that fool. Unfortunately, I don't have the screenshots of the entire conversation because I didn't think that it would be deleted as quickly as it was. Um, but I do have the screenshots of this conversation because I had to send them to this person because they didn't believe me. Because they said, as you can see here in this one, they're saying, it's Zafool, not Rose Wholesale. Maybe another website made a mistake for sending you an email. Please ignore. By the way, please still pay this. And this dude is, says he's the executive sales manager and I was just floored. I had to literally send him screenshots with these red boxes showing him you are on Rose Wholesale with me right now. I honestly can't remember the way that it ended. Um, I He maybe said something back, he maybe did it. I honestly don't remember, but all I know is that it was like wiped and then they like switched to Zip Fool, and then I was like, I'm not going to pay for this anyway because I'm doing a haul on YouTube. You're hiring me for this. I really regret not getting the rest of those screenshots. I should have known that everything was going to be deleted, but that's just the situation. I at least have those original ones with this person saying that they're from Zip Fool, trying to get me to pay for a Zip Fool order on Rose Wholesale. So that was fucking bizarre. And really frustrating because for me I had actually worked with Rose Wholesale in the past but decided against it because I didn't 
trust them. I didn't want to make videos about them because I didn't think that they were of high enough quality, they were trustworthy, etc. But all of a sudden I'm working with stuff fool who I do trust, who I thought was safe, and yet their executive sales manager is contacting me through Rose Wholesale which tells me that these employees are working for both companies, which means that the companies have the same parent company. So it's all the fucking same. It's all the same. Pretty quickly after that, somebody made a comment on one of my videos that explained that a lot of these companies have the same parent company. And it's just, they're just these different sites that they sell at and they pretend like they're not connected, but they are. And so having that experience, seeing somebody else's comment, I was just like, holy shit. Like, yeah, that's, they're all, this isn't to say that they're all a scam, but they're all of these different companies that are just the same. Realistically, they do have different products. They do have different pricing. They do have different shipping. You will get a different experience on these sites. But for me, as someone who was not shopping on some, but shopping on others, it just put me in this really weird spot of if I'm not supporting one that is basically the same as the other, then why should I be supporting this one? And so that's why I wanted to do this giveaway, to rebuy my haul entirely just to see what would happen. And so I did, a year ago. <laughs> I had the idea that I could combine a giveaway for you guys with a sort of like test or like expose or whatever on the fool. I thought that it would be fun if I would buy everything on my own and just see what would happen. Compare my experience, see if I would get scammed, see if I would lose all my money, see if the items were completely different, if they sucked, whatever, just to do it. So some information about how I went through this. I used the same computer to order but I made a different account, used a different email address, used my sister's name and then put in my own credit card information and PayPal, which that fool previously didn't have, and then my own phone number. I picked standard shipping because I had to because I was shipping to a P.O. box. And I put in the order five weeks after I had put in the order for the haul. So five weeks after I worked with that fool and put in my order for them, I rebought everything. So the things that I wanted to check, if I would get every item, if the items would be different or of lower quality and how fast things would take and what the process would be like if I had to deal with customer service, etc. So were the items different? And that's a really big thing that people like to say about these sites is that they'll send the good stuff to the YouTubers. So I wanted to see if that was true. So first of all, was there any quality difference that I've seen? One, I haven't worn any of these, but looking at them, taking them out of the package, feeling the different material, etc. There's not a quality difference. In terms of sizing, there were some sizing differences. Um, for example, the pink and orange swimsuit, which you can see here, um, was fine except for the bottoms were a different size. The tie-dye swimsuit was the same except for the bottoms were a little bit bigger. The harnesses seem a tiny bit thinner, but otherwise they're the same size and the same size as each other. Um, the creases are just because they were folded for so long, like I talked about earlier in the video. So with the sweatpants, this is where you can see the biggest difference in the items. They were two completely different items. The giveaway pants have the emoticon on one side, they have drawstrings, and there is a tag with a brand on the inside waistband. The haul has the emoticon on the other side, there is no drawstring, and there is no tags on the inside. They also appear to be a little bit different shade black and a little bit different material. But they both have three pockets and they both have the elastic on the waistband and at the bottom, so they are both joggers. The unfortunate part of this whole thing is that I will not be able to explain like any of it, like the reason behind it. The sizing differences could be factory errors, could be human error, or it could just be like a large getting put in a medium sized bag. Like there's kind of no way to know. So there just might not be a lot of quality control in the factory, but at the same time it's kind of up to the fool as a company that if they are selling the products that they make sure that they're working with suppliers that they can trust that will supply them with items that are consistent. Mistakes do happen and sometimes labeling is the issue, but 
like still. And then with the joggers, in terms of which one is the product photo, I didn't notice this during the haul, and I would have said something if I did, but I just didn't fucking check. Um, the pants that I got in the haul don't match the product photo, but the pants in the giveaway do. So, technically, I'm the one who got the item that doesn't match the description as a YouTuber, and me as a customer got the item that matched the product photo. So, whatever that means, but I honestly, I just am literally checking right now. I went back to my order that I made with during the haul, and I'm seeing that this has the emoticon on the other side and has drawstrings. And the pants that I got, it's the emoticon on the opposite side and there's no drawstrings. So, I would have talked about that in my haul, but I didn't. I fucking just didn't notice. But now I know that me, the YouTuber, got fucked over with the product photo not matching. <laughs> so that's, I guess, point one for Zafool for, like, proving that the YouTuber doesn't always get the best thing. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I honestly don't care. <laughs> I can't care anymore. This has been a year and a half. I just don't care. So that kind of answers that question, if YouTubers get better quality. I just... If this order has anything to say about it, no, they don't. And if you're wondering why in the giveaway I do not have the kimono cardigan thing that I do in the haul, that's actually a kind of funny story. What happened was I hadn't gotten it yet. I had sent them an email. I sent them a message and for whatever reason I have a screenshot of this, but I don't have a screenshot of their responses. I thought that they kept stuff up for longer, but I said that I have one final item I was waiting for in the order. Um, I had received two packages so far, but it hadn't shipped yet, and it had been a month since I purchased everything. So I was still waiting on this final item. It said it was still waiting to be shipped. When I looked at my orders, I didn't get any email about it being out of stock or it being late or whatever. And so they responded back saying that it was out of stock and I could either pick out something else or I could just have store credit, which I responded to with the intention of picking another kimono out for the giveaway, but I wanted to double check. I said, would it be possible to get a refund for it instead of store credit, or are those my only options? And the funny thing was, instead of just saying, yes, you could get a refund if you liked, they just refunded me immediately. Which is kind of like the opposite that I hear from everybody. What I think is kind of funny is that I got refunded too fast. I asked if it was possible, and they just did it and I was going to just rebuy another cardigan, but they just refunded me. So that's just, it's not typically what you hear from these types of sites is that they refund you too fast. And so while I did have the experience of just no notification that something was out of stock, them not telling me that I had to pick something out, I had to be the one to ask, but then when they said that I could pick out a new item or get store credit, when I asked if I could get a refund, they just instantly refunded me. And so I was just like, all right, like, sure, I was gonna buy something else, but I'll take my money back, whatever. Also because it worked out because then the giveaways would be equal with the feminine and unisex having four items. So yeah, that was like a really, like kind of bizarre thing. So I think maybe that these companies have gotten a little bit wise about how people want their money back. Um, but I just thought that it was funny that without even like, saying without like double checking without like are you sure you don't want to like just have another item and we can keep your money they just gave it back and so in total i received three separate packages for this order um it took over a month for me to get all of them the big package had three swimsuits one crop top the background the sweatpants and the mesh tank top a small package had the thigh garter the braided swimsuit and the other crop top and then the third and final small package had a swimsuit in an open bag and two harnesses. And so I did have standard shipping, I didn't get like priority shipping at all. And I was notified as each package shipped out and they told me what was going to be in each one. And so that's how I knew that the kimono hadn't shipped yet, it was just still by itself, like not shipped. But it did take over a month for me to get everything. So that was my experience with my Zephool haul that I did myself, that I paid for. So the total of what I paid, um, I double checked, was actually 196 US dollars. 
I had gotten a like first time buyer discount percentage off that was $35 and then I think that also maybe included the refund that I got for not getting the kimono. So in total it was yeah about $196 and some change which included like shipping and insurance and stuff. So overall what I would say my experience as a shopper with that the receiving separate packages is kind of annoying but it's fine I personally don't really care the fact that I was not notified that the kimono was out of stock and just was never going to be shipped was frustrating it was amazing how fast I got the refund but itself a little bit frustrating because I was going to pick out a different item I just wanted to know what all my options were. And then in terms of the quality of the items, I do like that the sweatpants had matched the product photo. Everything matched the product photo. Everything was essentially the same item that I had gotten in my haul. There were some sizing differences, which might have worked out for me better in terms of the swimsuits being bigger. Um, but it's still kind of frustrating to see that the sizes are off. So. What's the moral of the story? What do we gather from this? I don't know. You guys get three giveaways to enter. That's what I care about. And then I kind of get a little bit of reassurance that while shopping on Zafool and these companies is a little bit of a crapshoot, um, I get to know that as a YouTuber I'm not getting like better items than you guys or than paying customers. And if I want to risk it, then there's a chance that I'll be getting something that I'm at least like, all right, that's like fine. Like I'm at least okay with it. I didn't receive anything that I was like shocking or disgusting or completely different or falling apart or whatever. And so, but then at the same time that does have to do with my own personal standards. So there's a chance that if you win this giveaway that you're gonna receive it and you're gonna be like, what the fuck, this sucks. This is literally the worst swimsuit I've ever seen in my life. Like that's, there's a chance, but that just has to do with your own experience, what you consider to be like worthwhile. And so I know that this video has gotten to be really long, which is why I wanted to put the giveaway stuff first. And honestly, I had more to say about Zafool. I was gonna go a little bit more in depth with the kind of like, is Zafool a scam site? The truth behind Zafool. It was gonna be all about that. It was gonna just be all of those opinions that I have, especially as someone who has a lot of hauls from these types of sites. But I'm just kind of at the point where what I said is the gist of it and maybe someday I'll make another video that's more in depth. I would want to make an instructional how to shop online on these wholesale sites and like tutorial video kind of just for fun just because I do have so many hauls from these sites just an informational video so I had written out a whole bunch more to say and to talk about and things to whatever that had to do with the original reasoning behind this video but just for right now and also just because of some other stuff going on in my life right now we're gonna leave it at that and then I would also like to put a little <laughs> mini We'll see how many this is explanation as to why I'm not going to go into it, why I'm not doing that full thing anymore, and why I'm doing this now, today, almost a year and a half later. Um, and that's because I have some fun stuff in my life going on right now. I usually do not get super personal on my channel. And honestly, because of that, because I have not gotten personal on my channel, Sometimes I leave for months at a time. It's already happened this year in February to March or whatever. I left. I didn't make any videos. I had all of this stuff planned. I was going to do the giveaway then, but I was going through some stuff and there's a part of me that just can't talk about it. Like I'll obviously talk to my friends and family about it and I'll go to therapy about it, but I have never been able to talk on my channel about the shit that I go through. Mostly because, in my opinion, it's not like that crazy of shit um, and it's not like worth making a video about. But this one kind of is, especially because I've talked about it on my channel before and if I didn't acknowledge it, I would just have to deal with questions about it. And I, even making this video and putting it at the end of this really long giveaway, 
I'm going to have to address this for a while, but I got dumped. Nate broke up with me about six days ago. I am not going to go into details about it because there's kind of no point, but since I had brought him onto my channel in the past, I've talked about it, then I'm gonna talk about the fact that it's not a thing anymore. Also, more importantly than that is because I'm getting kicked out of this apartment. <laughs> um, obviously we had moved in together, we lived together in Amsterdam, and now that we are no longer together, I have to leave. As of right now, as of filming, I do not know exactly what I'll be doing. I'm assessing my different options, but I'm needing to deal with the fact that I have to leave this apartment. And so part of that is <laughs> dealing with this giveaway that I had moved here with. And so I wanted to get this out to get this done for you guys, and so that is why I'm doing it, and that's also why it's only 10 days. I was originally going to have the giveaway be longer, but because my life is about to move pretty fast, I need to deal with this giveaway, so 10 days is what it is. So because of this, my head is very stressed, and I have a lot of stuff that I'm trying to figure out and do, and that's going on, so that's kind of why I'm not doing the full video that I originally planned. It's also why you know, I don't know, I felt like I was yelling this entire video, <laughs> and so if I seemed a little bit different than my other videos, that's also why, because I'm not myself right now, basically. And so also related to this, and one thing that I did want to kind of sneak into this video that I had mentioned, I think, previously in the video, um, I will be selling some stuff. And so I have shoes and clothes, and I'm pretty sure I will be selling some dread sets dresses, collars, all sorts of stuff that I need to get rid of. And so I will be posting about that on all of my platforms, um, Twitter especially, maybe, maybe not Facebook, but I'll post on my Instagram story that I will be selling stuff. And so honestly, if you've ever seen anything of mine that you want to buy, let me know and I'll tell you if it's in the pile to be sold. Um, but more realistically, just keep an eye on my platforms and I will maybe even make a video here that would, I would maybe like take down once everything is sold of stuff that I'm selling. Part of that is because I need to move my shit and I have kind of a lot of shit and so I'm trying to downsize. But the other part of that is that living in this apartment, Nate was the breadwinner of the family and he did pay for majority of rent in exchange for the fact that I work from home so that I can do all the house stuff, but now that is no longer a thing and I'm about to be faced with some pretty intense transition costs as I move. No matter what I do, I'm going to be upfront. I have some shit that I have to pay for. And so I'm downsizing, but I also have some shit going on. So that's going to bring me to my final point, which I, on the one hand, don't super feel comfortable with, but on the other hand, I'm <laughs> really stressed out right now and trying to hold it together, but also trying to be proactive. If you would like to support me and to make sure that I do not drop off the face of the earth like I usually do when I go through emotional trauma, you can pledge to my Patreon. I feel like such an asshole saying that, but the reality is that if I cannot support myself by myself, I will have to quit YouTube and do something else. And I'm really trying not to do that. And so I really do not want to have to give up my YouTube career just because I got broken up with and kicked out of my apartment and I am trying really hard not to get emotional about it because I also feel like an asshole for getting emotional about that. Oh no, my YouTube career. Oh no, my shitty internet job that I do. Um, and I also, like, like I said, I'm not used to being personal on my channel. I'm especially not used to being emotional on my channel. I have cried in a video before but I never posted it. <laughs> uh, maybe I can post that. Honestly, I'll maybe if I have it still, I'll post it to my Patreon where I cried in a video because of my hair, actually. Um, so I think this is actually the first time that I've gotten close to emotional on my channel about something. And But the reality is that this is really fucking stressful. This is an emotional time for me. And every other time in my life that I've gone through something, I've shut down and I've cut you guys out 
and I decided that this time I'm not going to do that. Part of what's holding me back is I do know that there are people in real life that I know who watch my videos and I'm usually pretty fucking guarded about who I honestly even talk to like or be friends with and so I know that like on my Instagram there's people who follow me on Instagram that I know in real life that I would not want to see me like this. Not that this is bad, like I could be reacting so much worse, honestly, but the fact of the matter is I'm not used to this, I'm not used to being open and vulnerable on my YouTube channel especially, but on my social media as a whole, but I don't want to be that person anymore who just shuts down and just blocks everybody out because it's just not fair. And also I'm in a spot where this is my job, this is my favorite job I've ever done besides working with dogs. and but I, I can't lose it and I don't want this to be the reason that I lose it. Especially because I've already gone dark once this year and I don't think that I can afford to have two months of nothing twice in a row. And so the, so the only way that I know to like combat that is to be real with you guys and to, to be honest. So. I'm including it at the very end of this very long giveaway, so partly so that it would be kind of hidden from people, you know, like I'm not making this the point of the video. I might put it in the title to get people to click on the video because I want people to enter the giveaway. I want people to know about the giveaway, but that's it. And so I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to stay here in the Netherlands. I don't know if I can afford to, and I don't know where I'm gonna go if I don't stay here. If you would like to know, as I find out, you can follow me on Twitter, that's where I've been posting the most. And if you would like to support me as I deal with this and transition and figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do, um, you can buy my shit if you want. Once I start selling stuff, you can buy it or you can pledge to my Patreon or you can honestly just like be here. Even just the fact that I have my subscriber base and my followers that I do, that's what's been keeping me going and that's what's been reminding me that I can do this and that and that I can get through this and I can support myself and I can do it. If there is an interest in how things are going, I might start live streaming it. I know that I haven't been live streaming since February and that's because of the shit that I went through. Um, and it's really hard for me to live stream if I'm not 100% happy. But if that is something that you guys would want to stay updated with. Maybe I could start even a daily live stream of my search for a new apartment and if I'm going to stay here in the legal process as I try to switch my permit and maybe if I decide to go to America and packing up and it might just be a fun way to, to keep you guys in the loop and then to keep me sane as I have people to talk to. Not that I don't have people to talk to but just as a way to like every week or every day just to like acknowledge this is the situation and keep you guys updated and just as a way to keep myself from from falling off the face of the earth and just like getting deeper into the darkness that I've already been in the past like three months. And even though I hate it when people apologize for getting emotional, I just want to apologize for getting emotional about this. Um, it's really hard for me to cry in front of other people and this isn't fully crying, I'm just like tearing up. but whatever like like I said there's a lot of people that I wouldn't want to see me like this but if you're a subscriber if you've been here for me then fuck it Ugh, my legs really hurt I've been like sitting so dumb this whole video oh my god I think this this might end up being like one of the longest videos I've ever made um but that's just because I had a lot of shit to go over if you have made it this far in the video thank you for listening to me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening to me as I talk about a bunch of shit and then also open up for maybe one of the first times. This is honestly very scary for me. I'm probably going to edit this and just be like this the whole time and then I'm just gonna sit here like this right before publishing. But that's just, this is hard for me. This is some stuff. <sighs> but yeah. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Um, star for you for getting to this point in the video. If you would like, you can follow me on all my social media pages. And if you want to stay the most up to date with like 
my life stuff. Twitter is the way to go. Um, Instagram and Facebook are not where I post about my feelings. <laughs> and um, But you now might be a place where I start live streaming as I try to figure out my life. I honestly don't even know how to end this video, but good luck to everybody who enters the giveaway. I wish that I could send a bunch of stuff to everybody, but I cannot unfortunately afford that, especially right now. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. That's my giveaway and like Zaful story and life update that's really depressing for me personally and really stressful and all that information that I have about selling stuff and Patreon and etc etc. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already, especially if you want to enter the giveaways that is mandatory. But if you're not subscribed and you don't want to enter the giveaways, feel free to subscribe anyway. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!